Brian, welcome to Game 7 of Reading Rocket Freshman Football. What an absolutely perfect day out here Friday beautiful, afternoon. Beautiful, beautiful day. We got Winchester today. Our captains today are 67, Jay Kajander. 24 is Zach Kenyon. 81 is Pat Keenan. 69, Big Larry Lorenzo. And 85, D Dylan Lee. Uh, listen, two second week in a row, we got the, the same color shirts here, Brian. Know, what do we right? figure? We can't figure. Good <laughs> thing Winchester has red helmets on. But uh, Winchester's rolling about 21 guys. We get about double that on our side. Yes. Yeah, so, right? Yeah. So, listen, uh, we, went to, we, we took care of Arlington last week, right? Yep. Uh, the future of Arlington football does not look good, does it? No. Oh my gosh, 17 kids, they were getting steamrolled here. But uh, the Winchester varsity team isn't doing too well this year. At least the record isn't. But they've always had a pretty strong program. These guys look like some pretty big guys. So we'll see what Winchester brings to us today. Hey, only a couple more weeks left. Next week in Melrose and back here to wrap up the season in Wakefield. I don't know what we're going to do with ourselves, Brian. I know. I'll have to find another hobby. I know. I know. <laughs> you you have a few other hobbies. Yeah, yeah. I have yeah, a few. Listen, listen, most of them are uh, you, you'd be better off running the camera, even though yeah. you're, you're the 10th worst uh, that I've ever, ever exactly. worked with. Exactly. Uh, all right, buddy. Well, listen, back, we'll be back in a second for the kickoff. Ends on it. Wes Costin was right there, and Costin could have come up with a ball. No one with a sense of urgency there for Winchester at all. And God, God, Wes had his hands on it. He's shaking his head. He can't believe it. But Winchester's going to take over here first and 10 from their own 32. What are they doing? Yep. All right, here we go. First and 10 here for Winchester. To pass on the very first play. He's wide open, number nine, right there. And Perez is on him, and he rips him down. But huge play to start the game, and number nine is wide open. Looked like a missed coverage over there on the right-hand side, and it is a massive gain of about 45 yards on the first play from scrimmage. And we'll be back with another first and ten here. All right, here we go. First and 10 after the huge first play from scrimmage. Quarterback is a little guy here, but he's clearly showing up his arm early. That's an inside hand, a big hole for number 33. He takes it up. He's still on his feet. Oh, the ball's on the ground. Wow, he's lucky to recover it. I think it actually went out of bounds. So he fumbles the ball out of bounds, but he rips it off for about 20. And the first two plays from scrimmage are about 70 yards, 60 yards a gain here. And it's going to be first and goal, or maybe just outside the 10 here for Winchester. So two huge plays uh, to start this game. All right, first and goal. It's just inside the 10. This one's a handoff right up the gut. Gets met right there. First one in there is Deemer, and then Oki comes over and picks him up. So Adam slows him down, and Oki wraps him up, but it's a gain of about maybe one or two. So nice job by uh, Adam Deemer getting in there, and Oki crunched him from behind after he held him back. Wait for these guys to get over from Winchester, too. Uh, Brian, we were saying they've been on the sidelines for a long time. They almost had a full practice before the, uh, <laughs> the game started. They didn't get it until 3.15. So second and goal from the nine. Obviously not afraid to throw. They've done it before. This one's an inside handoff. Dommy's in pursuit. Cuts over. He gains about three or four yards. Close to the, close to the goal line, but he gets pushed out around the two. It's going to be third and goal from about the two-yard line. 50 in pursuit. But Larry Lorenzo gets over there and helps out, too, right off the line. I'd like to see a little bit more of a linebacker push on that side, Brian. Yeah. Up the field. So call it third and goal from just outside the two. Clear four down territory here, though. Oh, look at that. It's the quick snap out, and they say in motion. They're going to bring it back five yards, I think. They weren't set. So they try the quick snap up the gut for the sneak touchdown, and he throws the flag, and I believe he says it wasn't set. So now it's, it should cost him five yards here. Let's see what they say. He's having a conference with the uh, Winchester coach. And I think it's going to be a five-yard walk-off here. They tried the old sneak, and that's a huge play for the Rockets right there. And it's only because solely because the Winchester team wasn't set. Their own line wasn't set. Now it's third and goal from about the seven-yard line. Much different set of circumstances here. Under center for the first time. Oh, he trips right there, and he's a keeper. He's Oh, he's right in there. He gets hit right at the goal line. He doesn't get any fumbles. Oh. They, they said he was down, but he gets hit at the end. Uh, 
Let's see who was in there. That play, number 14, is Ben Ferrante in there. I was too busy watching the play set up. It was a nice play fake. But it is now fourth and goal from the one-yard line. And this is a huge play right here. Rockets better be ready for that for that fake again. Yeah, right. Right? Be ready right up the middle. I think they moved Larry right over the ball on this one. They're telling him to get ready for that same fake. He does it again, and I think he gets in. So the QB keeper this time works. And they go in. So listen, just a few short plays in. A massive play on the very first down, about a 50-yard pass play. Huge run on the second play from scrimmage. And Winchester goes in early, and it's 6 nothing right here. They're going to be going for two. You can almost see that one coming. Uh, looks like yep. they're actually going to try to kick here. No, nope. I saw they aren't. They look like they were going to set up, but it's uh, number five is in the in the shotgun. So this one's going to be a very similar pass play again. Oh, just knock it down. Uh, you guys got to go down here. That's fine. Go down, go down, and you're good. All right, so he could, in theory, he could have taken it all the way back, right? But yeah, too yeah. many things in front. So nice play right there. It was uh, looked like it was tipped and it was intercepted by Nick Perez. And uh, the Rockets stopped them. So that's a huge play. Those, those extra points, we say it every single week, Brian. They can come back to haunt you. So we're going to see what the Rocket offense can do. Um, after a two, couple of huge plays, they fell victim to it. Maybe got a little break with that uh, motion penalty, but couldn't capitalize on it. So we will come back here with the kick. We go back deep. We have, looks like, uh, Mike DiPietro. Who else is back there? Might be DiNapoli. <laughs> nice kick right there. It's going over to DiPietro's way. He's got to come back and get that ball. Oh, he picked it up out of bounds, so I think it's a flag. I believe that it is a flag, so that's a nice move. Very smart play by Michael right there to let that thing go out of bounds because that was a booming kick, would have been the 10. And I think they moved that thing out to about the 35-yard line to start off, so huge play lets that thing go out. Very, very smart play by number two, DiPietro. I need to get my eyes fixed. All right, first <laughs> down. Only yeah. one, though. <laughs> I'm getting one eye fix and laser eye surgery on this <laughs> week, Ryan. All right, this one is uh, handoff right up the gut to uh, Flanagan, and he gets met behind. So so they start with the Perez uh, lineup, Flanagan flanking him, which was very successful in Arlington last week. This one gets pushed back on first down about four yards. going to be second and 14 upcoming. All right, here we go, second and 14. We have Grady and DiPietro near side, flanked. A couple of speedsters. Straight back to Perez. He's looking to throw. He throws it across the middle. Oh, and he gets picked off. Number 30 picks it off, and he gets pulled down by Derek Van Horn. Nice play by Derek to do it, but he threw the ball a little. It was a, it was a perfect spot. He threw it a little bit behind Jonathan, and number 30 picks it off. So Winchester's going to take over here. First and 10 from the Rocket 30-yard uh, line. And the defense is going to be put to the test again early. So Winchester comes out with a very, very big offensive play, the, the huge pass. And now they do a turnover here, and they are going to be threatening again here. So tough task for the uh, Rocket D to start as they break the huddle. A couple of big boys on the uh, on this uh, Winchester team, too. Oh, yeah. very, much big, bigger size difference on the Arlington squad last week who, who weren't so big at all. Although the quarterback's a little diminutive, right? right? He can throw the ball, though. He swings it out wide open. Right here is number 13. Great tackle right there by Ferrante. I wish he closed a little bit, sort of waited on him, right? Yeah. But it was a great tackle, but it's the, the only guy there what might have liked to see Ben close a little bit earlier on him because they take that for a first down inside the uh, 20. Here we go, first and 10. It's a beautiful tackle by Ferrante. Like I said, I just wish he might have closed a little bit. Nonetheless, first down here. This one's a handoff, number 17. There's a, a hold behind here. It's going to be brought back, I think. They're going to bring that back, Winchester, so they're going to make this first and 20. So there's a hold behind the play. Gets pushed out of bounds out there. 
And uh, fortunate for the Rockets, push them back a little bit. Here we go, first and 20 now from the, call it 28-yard line. This one's he's back to pass, going to try that play again. Oh, he overthrows it this time. Good coverage this time with Jaheim Nortellis and and, uh, and our boy, uh, sorry, Perez back there, Nick Perez. So overthrown. Good-looking pass, though, too. Yeah, he's got an arm. Got a nice arm over there. So with, they're not afraid to throw it, but it's second and 20 upcoming. All right. Third, uh, sorry, second and 20. Same formation. This one's a handoff right up the gut. Cuts outside. Good run, and he gets wrapped up by Domi. Crutches him. So nice job by DiCrescenzo following the ball. Nice play fake. He bounces off left. Now it's third and very long here. I'd, I'd probably say this is definite four-down territory inside yeah, the 30, though, right? So why definitely. not? But the Rocket D right here needs to step up, get that ball back. Across the front, Kajanda, Larry Lorenza, Dom DiCrescenzo, and Danny O'Connor. Two guys split left and right. Look for the throw here. He swings it out. They got a close on him. There's, there's Jay right there. Jay Kajanda comes in from the back. You know, so nice job from Jay on the line to stop him short. But I'd like to see a little bit more aggressiveness from the uh, from the backs here, uh, Brian. Yeah. You know, it's a swing pass early. Let's see some of those uh, linebackers close, uh, close more quickly. But nonetheless, it's fourth down here and call it 18. And this is a huge play here. They got to get inside the 10 uh, for the first down. Might as well throw it in the end zone, right? Yeah. Give it a shot. It's way back. They're going to try that play that started the game the first time. He overthrows it again. So too much mustard on that one. Very good coverage right there from Perez. And Nortellis was over there to help. So the Rocket D steps up this time. They were helped by the penalty, which pushes them back. And now they're going to take over first and 10, and it looks like the Damari unit's going in there. All right, here we go, first and 10. We get Damari flanked by um, Lucas Fleming and Thornton. Trevor Thornton. This one goes to Thornton up the gut. Tough guy to bring down, but he gets pulled down after about three. He gets spun around. Looks like there's a little uh, extracurricular going on here. I don't know. It was tied in with Lynchy, but I. Yeah, number 33 was being a little uh, rough there. So I think they're going to get a personal foul after the play yeah. on Winchester. And it's going to move it up, probably a first down. Let's see. It is. So personal foul on Winchester late after the play and tack on 15 more. So Rockets get this thing close to midfield here and a new set of sticks. He's got a couple of choices. We've got Fleming and Thornton. Fleming to the right, Thornton to the left now. This one is a reverse. This time it goes into, into Thornton, and he gets met immediately. He doesn't want to go down. Tries to spin back, but they blow the whistle. Nonetheless, they stack him up, so nice job by the line over there uh, on, on uh, Winchester. Not fooled by the misdirection play. It's going to be second and 11 upcoming. All right, here we go. Second and call it uh, 11, maybe 12 here. Damari's going to be back to pass this one. He throws it underneath. That one goes to Adam DiNapoli, and Adam takes it for about seven or eight yards. So nice play on second down. Get a little chunk of that back close to midfield. It's going to be third and call it uh, just about four upcoming. Wow, not a great spot there. That ref almost pulled his flag out on number 10. You see 10? Yeah. Grabbing DiNapoli. Yep, getting a little, uh, little feisty early bunch in the game. over there. Wow, that was a terrible spot. I thought he went much closer to the 50 there with uh, forward progress, and they pushed him back almost two yards. So call it third and six here. Big play here at midfield. Damari flanked by Thornton and Fleming. It's a keeper for Damari here. He gets outside. Get that. Oh, nice move by Danny. Cuts up. Gets wrapped up and pulled out of the 25 yard line. Wow, he saw the seam, made a little stutter step, and hit a hole, and Damari t rips it off for 25 yards in the first down. So, love to see Damari following those two big guys, yep. 34 and 44, and that was a great play All right day. There. All day is right until they tell you they can stop it. So, great play there. New set of sticks here, and the Rockets are right around the 25-yard line. Looks like a timeout right now is called. Maybe they change the quarter. 
could be that too, yep. We're on. All right, here we go. Change of quarter right here. This one's up the gut to Fleming. He's got a big hole in front of him. Lucas gets wrapped up high. So, wow, you usually don't see him taking down the good tackle there, but he rips it off for about six on first down. We get inside just about the 20-yard line. All right, here we go. Second and call it just over five here. Damari. This one's going to be a handoff up the gut right there is to Trevor Thornton. He takes it for the first down and more. Trevor drives it right to the 10-yard line. So first down for Thornton, and it's going to be maybe just outside the 10. So the new set of chains here. All right, here we go. First down here. Quick snap to Damari. This one's a handoff right up the gut to Thornton. He's going to, oh, he gets spin. He's still on his feet, and he dives in. Nice job by Trevor. Cannot be pulled down by one guy, and he rips it off and gets in there. So the Rockets march right back after the defensive stop, and they go march right down the field and tie this game up early in the second quarter. And we talk about these extra points. They are big. Extra point big. We have Damari flanked by the two big backs. You might see Danny keep this one and follow these guys. It's a handoff. Why not? Just keep. Oh, he gets hit, but he's in. Big hit in the middle. I tell you, these Winchester guys are doing some big hits there. Yeah, they but are. he bounces right off that one, spins out, and that one was Thornton. So Trevor Thornton takes it in for the touchdown. They hand it right back to him. Gets hit very hard at the line, spins off, and goes in. So the Rockets come right back in that extra point is huge and they take the lead, eight to six. Brian, we have an all-star change crew over there. You see that oh, big yeah. Dan Damari, Lucas Fleming, and Peter Tarasik. That's a real brain trust over there, That's isn't the it? That's the crew for you. I, That's I would crew. pay a million dollars to listen to that conversation right now, what's going on. Here we go, nice kick right there by Foxy. Number five's the quarterback. They get him back returning kicks, too, and he gets wrapped up immediately by Jonathan Grady. Beautiful pressure by Grady. Wes Costin in there downfield, too. Grady wraps him up, uh, and Winchester's going to take over here. First and 10 from the 25. Dan Tarasuk. Uh, What's the best steak and cheese sub in town? And Peter probably has not had a steak and cheese in about five years. <laughs> He's asking the wrong guy. Let's hope. Let's hope Damari doesn't uh, turn. I'd say Peter. Pizza, pizza he doesn't World. turn him bad. He doesn't turn him bad anymore. Pizza World's got the best one. Here we go. It's a swing out. Oh, he pulls it down. It's on his feet there. Oh, he, nice move to get get away. He's still on his feet. Finally pulled down by number nine is Dana Isbell. So it was a broken play, but he still rips it off and turns nothing into something for five yards there. So nice, that nice athletic play by number five, the quarterback. All right, here we go, second and five. Coach Federa mixing up the offense and defense whole units all day. In motion, number nine. He's the guy who caught that big pass early on. He's back to pass. He swings it out. Right there is number 24 is uh, Zach Kenyon pulls him out, but not before he gets the first down. So big play right there, and uh, the Winchester's going to start first and 10 from their own 40. All right, here we go, first and 10 for Winchester here from the f their own 40. In motion. It's a low snap. It's a keeper. He's got a little seam right there, still on his feet. Still on his feet, gets pulled down from behind by number 68 right there is, is Brendan Fox. So Foxy pulls him down, but he gains about seven here. And there's a, is there a flag on the play, too? It looks like they may be coming back here. Sean Cronin, 64, clapping, thinking that it's going to be it, and it is going to go back. Didn't see what the call was on that one, Brian. It mean, goes yeah. back 10. There it is. Looks like a block from the back or illegal use of the hands there. And it's going to be a timeout right now. So we're going to go back uh, here and redo first down. It's going to be first and about 13 when they come back. 
All right, here we are. First and call it 13 right now after the penalty. Pushes the ball back to about the 37 yard line of Winchester. This one's a handoff right up the gut. He's got a big seam there, he cuts outside, still on his feet. Oh, he's gonna break away, one guy left and it's Denapoli, he just pulls him down. So Adam Denapoli pulls him back, the last line of defense, he comes up hobbling too, but it's, he rips it off for about 35 yards there and it's gonna be first and 10 from the 30. So they get pushed back 12, but they gain 30 right back at it and Winchester is, uh, is pressuring again. All right, here we go, first and 10 from the 30-yard line. This one's a keeper for the quarterback. Big hole right there, but he gets pulled down by a number of different people, including Swanee is in there, and right in there too, let me see, it was Adam Deemer. So Deemer came in first, Swanee hops on him, but he drags him for about three or four yards. So second and six upcoming. Second and six here. Very, very evenly matched game so far, Brian. Yeah, definitely a good game. This one's a keeper up the middle. Big hole. That's the one you get an option. This Deemer again. Oh, he's still on his feet. Doesn't want to go down, and he's got a seam there. Oh, boy, he's going to go in. The tackling by the Rockets. Very, very poor on that play. Three or four different people had their hands on him wrapped up, and he breaks off that play and takes it in for the uh, touchdown. I can only imagine what the coaches are going to say after that one. But nonetheless, poor tackling by the Rockets on that unit, and he rips it off for a 30-yard touchdown, and Winchester takes the lead temporarily right now. It is 12 to 8. All right, here we go. Big extra point try here. Handoff right at the gut. He's got nothing but room out there, and he goes in easily for the uh, two points. So... Winchester marches right down the field, and on a 30-yard play that they probably could have wrapped them up, they go in for the touchdown, and they get the two points. So with that, Winchester takes the lead right now, and it is Winchester 14, Redding 8. All right, here we go. Back deep is number 23, Derek Van Horn and Mike DiPietro. This one's going to go to DiPietro again. He's going to watch this thing. This one he's going to have to field. Field's at the 20. Cuts up and takes it for about five yards. So Mike did all he could on, he could on that particular play. Waited again to see if it took a bad bounce. But nonetheless, he takes it outside the 25. And it looks like the Damari unit is going in there for the Rockets. All right, the Rockets break the huddle here. Trailing for the second time in the game. And we got whistle blowing here. We got a timeout Winchester. So they didn't have the right field of that. I think they actually had too many guys out in the field. And Winchester's forced to take a timeout. We'll see if we can get a time check down on the field too, Brian. We got to be getting close here uh, towards the end of the second quarter. Here's Damari flanked by the two big backs. This one's going to be right up the gut to Fle uh, for Fleming this time. He's still on his feet. Lucas rips it off for about 20 quick yards on first down. So he takes it right out to the 45-yard line. Big, tough run by 44. Easy to recognize Lucas out there. I don't think his shirt has been tucked in in seven years <laughs> playing from watching him play all the way up. This one's a handoff to Thornton. Nice follow-up block right behind Dormi uh, Di Crescenzo. Di Crescenzo crushed. A kid, number six, he pushed him back about 10 yards, and Thornton did a nice job to follow him, and they get another first down. So over the 45-yard line into Winchester territory after a couple of plays. Nice run by Thornton. Nice job following the block, and Di Crescenzo, they pulled him from the other side, and he crunched him. This one's a keeper for Damari, and he gets wrapped up. Oh, he's still on his feet, but he gets wrapped up. He gets pushed back a little bit. So good push right there from Winchester after a couple of big running plays. That one doesn't go anywhere. Trying to follow the big guys, and someone came in very quickly and hit uh, Thornton and sort of stifled that play. So it's going to be second and 12 upcoming. Big athletic line here for uh, Winchester. 
This one's going to be a pass. He's looking at the pass. He throws it underneath. Oh, nicely pulled down by uh, DiNapoli. So Adam DiNapoli pulls it down, makes a nice catch and gets it for about seven yards. It's going to be third and five upcoming. So good looking play underneath. They let the, they almost let them get underneath the sort of underneath screen there. We've seen that one work where it's right down the middle a few times. You might see that, but these kids are so quick and athletic. You got to be very quick if you're the backer on that screen play. Two come, out, come out quickly and do it. So third and five here. Two minute warning, just get two minute warning. Perfect. Big time check right there. This one's a handoff right there to uh, Th I believe that's Thornton. And Thornton takes it for about three or four. It's going to be fourth and one and a half yards here. You're going to see the Rockets go for it here, no doubt. I want to keep it on the backs. Get the new set of sticks and start over. Big, big play right here with under two minutes. Damari flanked by Fleming and Thornton. This, one's, this one goes to Fleming. He's on his feet. He's got the first down and more. Lucas spins around. He's still on his feet. Oh, the ball's on the ground, though. Oh, and picks it up. Winchester picks it up at the very end of the play. They fumble the ball, and Winchester gets it back. And that might be a case of just fighting for that extra yard that you don't want to go down, but they have the that, that's where a little bit of a little bit of seasoning can help, right? Yeah. Because you have the first down, you have plenty of extra yards there, and if you stacked up, go down, right? But yeah. nonetheless, they strip the ball from Fleming, and Winchester comes up with it. Huge turnover, and the, the Rockets have had a couple of them. You can't do that against a good team, and you may see, hey, with a little bit of time here, you may be looking for some. Uh, Long passes upcoming here. Rockets got to be careful. First and 10 here after the turnover from their own 20. This one's going to be a pass. Oh, big pressure right there. And there's Deemer. Nice pressure up the middle over there on the left side of that line. And Deemer comes in from the uh, linebacker position and wraps him up. So big pushback. Left side of that line was Oki and DiCrescenzo put a huge push on him. He had to turn the other way, and that's exactly the type of uh, uh, move we're talking about, the, about those linebackers. We just talked about it, Brian, coming on up and making that move. So yep. it's a great play by Deemer, closing on him. It's going to be second and forever here. You may see, depending on what they have for time left, Winchester just trying to run the clock here. Don't get too cute. We can also put the ball in the air a few times too. You don't want to risk it. You don't want to risk a turnover here or, or, or a timeout here and rethink it. That's the half. That is the half. So they do let it run out. Probably a smart play by Winchester's standpoint, but nonetheless, the Rockets squander a chance with a, uh, a fumble by Fleming. And like we said, that's just a case of Lucas maybe trying to do a little bit too much. Um, you know, when you get the first down and more, it really you can just go down, right? Yeah. Make sure of it. But you know what? It's hard to tell a very tough runner like him and Thornton to go down. They yeah. don't want to go down, right? Yeah. And you have it in your brain, I'm going to get it as many as I can. But nonetheless, here at the at the half, it is Winchester 14 and Redding 8. Go for the kickoff. Like to see number 23 get his hands on a kickoff. Huh, Brian? See. see what your boy could do? <laughs> He's been pulling most of these kicks, though, which is over to DePetro's side. Yeah. It's another one that goes over that way. Got to let that one go. Let it go out of bounds again. Beautiful kick goes out of bounds again. Nice play by Mike to get let it go, and the Rockets are going to get excellent field position. Two kicks in a row, and listen, the kid booms them, but uh, to no avail, they bring that thing out to the 35-yard line, and uh, the Rockets are going to start off with great field position. Actually, might is the 35 or the 40. Uh, actually, the 30-yard line they started out on. And the Damari unit heads in. Tice out there in the, uh, uh, some of the receivers in this package. We got Nortellis out there too. And DePietro. He's back to pass here is Danny Damari. Oh boy, it's, it's got to be a flag. He hit him very early, knocks him down. Not a flag anywhere. The, kid, the number 10 from Winchester actually threw a shoulder into... Um, into DiNapoli, knocks him down. The ball goes incomplete. You know, man, I, I'd hate to see it if he picked that thing off because it was a clear interference. Yeah, right. Didn't call it. That should be that should be 
15 more yards here for the Rockets. I think Winchester avoided a uh, landmine in that play. Second and 10 here. Good looking pass, but DeMaria Denapoli gets knocked down before it reaches him. We get, he's flanked by Thornton on this one. DeMaria going to throw again. He throws it underneath, and this one goes to Tice. He gets about eight, depending on where the, where the spot is. So nice catch by Evan Tice there underneath. It's going to be third and call it two and a half right here. You see the big backs back in for this one. Thornton and uh, Fleming. Which way is it going to go? This one goes to Thornton. He's got the first down and more. Trevor goes down. Nice job right there, but Trevor rips it off close to midfield. And that's, listen, him and Fleming have been ripping off large patches of real estate every time they touch the ball today. Had some unfortunate, uh, an unfortunate turnover at the end of the half, but nonetheless, they're marching right here. Got Grady near side here. This one goes to Thornton again. Cuts back in the hole, spins around, takes it for about five and gets stacked up, maybe a little more than five. And now we have another flag, so it looks like a little extracurricular from Winchester again. 33 again. He is number 33 from Winchester, a little overzealous there. It's the second time he's picked up a personal foul. He's going to tack on 15. No need to do it after you, when you get it stacked up. The whistle's blowing, and he hits the guy late, and coach is calling him over. So big, big penalty right there. It pushes the Rockets to close to the 30-yard line. This one's going to be Damari underneath. He's going to keep it himself. Danny makes a move. He's still on his feet. Oh, he's still on his feet. Danny's on his feet. Takes it for about 20 yards. So beautiful play. You know, Danny has the type of patience to look for, look and wait for a hole to open. And when he sees it, he hits it hard. So it will look like initially it was going to be a pass. He pulled it down. He saw a little bit of real estate. He comes up, makes one stutter step move on the right-hand side. Did the same thing over near us earlier in the game. And Damari takes it for a huge first down. It looks like we have a Winchester player down on the field. He's up. So he's up. Uh, they bring the uh, trainer over, but it looks like he's going to be okay. Probably going to want to check him out, though. If they stop the time for him, I think they have to take that player out. But it's going to be another first down for the Rockets at about the 15-yard line inside the red zone. That big rocket line getting a little bit more of a push here in the second half. This one goes to Thornton. Big hole in front of him. Nice tackle, as usual. Takes two guys to tackle him, and he rips that off for about eight yards on first down. Call it seven. It's going to be second and three upcoming here, and they are just inside the 10-yard line. Why change it, right, Brian? Yeah. Why change it? Might see Damari try to follow these big guys this time. We got uh. movement early. Looked like uh, movement on the right side of Damari went a little bit early, and now they're going to move it back five yards. So call it second and eight upcoming. The walk off five has uh, jumped a little bit early, the Rockets. All right, second and eight after the five yard motion penalty. It's Thornton right, Fleming left. This one's going to go to Fleming. Big hole, he cuts left and right. He's not going to be dragged down, and Fleming goes in. Big play, the five yards means nothing. Lucas may have jumped a little early in that last one. He got mad at himself and said, I'll just take it from here, thanks. <laughs> I think he just wanted a longer stat line. Yeah. Yeah, so. that must, must have been what it was. So Fleming goes in and ties the game right here, and the Rockets have a very big extra point conversion upcoming. Break the huddle quickly, split right. DiNapoli... Oh, it's a fumble right there. Let's see if Danny can make a move here. Oh, he does. See if he can get in there. Danny spins around and he gets in. Wow. That's an athletic play right there. 
a quick snap, a little high, and it looked like Damari wasn't quite ready for it. He drops the ball, picks it up, and makes an athletic move and turns it in. Very At the very end, he spins for the extra step. You've seen these the, the spin moves for all three of these guys, Damari, Thornton, and Fleming, and they pick up an extra three yards every time, and that one was a huge play as the Rockets take the lead back here. We're going back and forth, Brian, in this one. Very, very well-played game. You know, the Rockets found themselves down at the half to Lexington, too. Came back and won that one 14 to 12. And now they're back here, and it's Redding 16, Winchester 14. You can tell they play a lot of Madden. Yeah, there's no doubts. Yeah, oh, the spin move. The spin move in Madden, that's what it is. Foxy set to kick off here. So the squib here gets picked up by number 30. He's still on his feet. Nice job right there. It's 24, Zach Kenyon. So nice job by Kenyon. I like to call Zach's name. He's a tough player. He's a very good player in Pop Warner. So Zach gets in there, rips him down. Still going to be good field position for Winchester to start here. And they send out that initial unit across the middle with his anchored in the middle by DiCrescenzo and Lorenzo. So we have Lynchy, we have Deemer, we have Damari, those linebacker positions. Ferrante is out left, Nortellis in the corner. Back deep is Perez, Trevor Conroy over there in the uh, outside linebacker position as well. Rockets are going to have to stop him here because we've been going just trading scores back and forth, Brian. Yep. You just stop. Right up the middle, number 33 takes it for a few yards. He gets pulled down over there. Number 15, Trev Conroy in there. I think we had uh, Dom DiCrescenzo in there as well. So short gain is going to be second and eight upcoming, just about the Winchester 42-yard line. This time he's got two backs behind him. It's going to be a keep right up the middle, and Di Crescenzo pounds him, hops on him, and rips him down. So Di Crescenzo's in there, so is Larry. Fools no one. Domi comes up and pushes him back for about three yards. Make it third and nine here. So nice play up the middle by Dom. He is a big, tough, strong kid in the middle. They don't have an answer for him right now. All right, third and nine up coming here. Winchester's had a little bit more luck running the ball when they try to get outside. But third and eight here, you might see them put the ball up. Certainly haven't been afraid to do it. He swings it out very quickly right there. Oh, it's a double pass, and he gets behind them. Beautifully set up play right there. Nick Perez does a great job, or he would have been wide open. So they do the double pass. It's hard to see if that was that was actually a, a lateral pass, yeah. wasn't it, Brian? I'd actually like to see that tape. So it looked like it might have been forward. But nonetheless, the corners bite, and number nine is sitting behind the defense, and very good play by Perez to save a touchdown. Winchester pulls a little bit of trickery on third down. They get a big first down here inside the 25-yard line. Looks like a little movement there, right up the gut, and Domi pulls him down from behind, and Deemer's in there too. So I think we've seen this a couple of times, Brian. I think at the freshman level, you see some guys who move a little bit early and then just swallowing their whistle. Yeah, yeah. So they've been a little bit liberal with that on both sides of the ball, to be honest with you. If someone moves a little bit early, they're letting it go. But it's going to be second and eight upcoming here, just outside the 20. Clear four down territory here for Winchester, down by two. In motion, this is going to be a keeper, a, a reverse. Oh, right there was Deemer came in hard, and DiCrescenzo picks him up. So beautiful penetration by Deemer, 
He had to avoid him, and then DiCrescenzo hops on him. Darmy getting the piling up the tackle total right now. But that one gets pushed back about a yard. It's going to be third and eight here. But as we said, undoubtedly four down territory. Steve DiCrescenzo imploring the D down here. <laughs> no need for a microphone down there, <laughs> right? right? He's back to pass. He throws it out underneath. Got a lot of room there. And there's Danny Damari. And Damari takes him down. He's very, very close to that first down marker. Let's see what they give him here. They give him the first down. So he marks the first down there. Danny makes a good tackle. Once again, those linebackers playing off on those underside screens. And it's first and 10 here from about the just inside the 15-yard line. This one's another swing pass. Number nine gets out. Nortellis closes on him and pulls him down. So nice play by Jaheim to close very quickly on him. That's the type of closer we like to see, and Nortellis has the speed to do it. So that one gets swung out. That one actually was a, a backwards pass. I, I was paying attention to that one, Brian, just in case they tried it again. So he threw it behind on that one. Try to set up that play again if they could ever pull it off. But it's going to be second and about eight here, just outside the ten. Second and call it eight right here. Three guys split right. Watch out for number nine. He's been a big target here. And it looks like we call, got a timeout call for Winchester. So <laughs> the quarterback's upset about it. He thought he had a play at a defense he liked. But nonetheless, uh, they called timeout Winchester. And uh, they're going to take a minute here. Rockets would love to have a big play here. Maybe get a turnover of their own here, Brian. That Two turnovers nice. on the day, and they've both gone against the Rockets. This one's going to be a pass. He's going to swing it out again. This time, oh, Perez saw it, and they were going to close on him. I think he heard footsteps. So it's an incomplete pass here. Make that third and eight upcoming here. It's like, uh, it looks like we got a, do we have another timeout? Oh, that could be the end of the quarter. End of the so third. it's the end of the third quarter right now. Rockets leading 16 to 14. But Winchester on the doorstep with a couple of very big plays upcoming. Yep. Good. All right, here we go. It's third and seven here for Winchester. He's back to pass. He swings it out quickly. Oh, and he drops the ball. Wow. Very lucky that that was a forward pass there because Kajandu was right on him. So number six drops the ball. He had a couple of blockers pulling out in front of him. And it's fourth down right here. This is a huge play for the Rockets. Love to get the ball back here with the lead. Mm -hmm. They can get a first down inside the five. So there's room for a first down left. Very, very big play here. Get the ball back for the Rockets. It'll be deep in their own territory, but they'd take it. Looks like another timeout here, and it's another timeout for Winchester, and they are pouring through them here in the second half. <laughs> right. So very big play, though. This is one you might want to take because they didn't like the defensive uh, lineup they had against that play. So we're going to take a few seconds. All right, here we go. Huge fourth down play here. He's going to be back to pass. He throws it underneath, and it gets stopped. So he throws it underneath. Jaheim Nortellis is all over him. The Rockets are going to take over here. They tried the quick slant to get the first down. Now they're not too concerned even if they got the touchdown. And he throws it. Nortellis is all over him. And the Rockets are going to take over here. Huge play. They're pinned back deep. But the Rockets bend but don't break here on this one. And Damari comes in with a play. The keeper right now for Damari. Cuts back. He's got a hold. Oh, he makes one more move, and Danny spins around. We talk about that spin move. He takes it for about 15, and there's another one. Another late hit here. Is it our boy number 33 again? That's three of them on number 33, and that's add that up to 45 yards for that kid. 
He, the coach is pulling him off. Three late hit personal fouls on number 33, and that's a huge help Should right be there. out of the game for that. Damari takes, I wonder if there is. How many personal can fouls can you have at this three level? Three and one take Come you. on. Damari takes it for 12. They add another 15, and in one play, they're all close to midfield. Winchester killing themselves with that play. This one goes Thornton. Cuts back, and he just slips. So Trevor slips on that one. He takes it for a couple of yards. Very close to midfield. It's going to be second and about seven upcoming. Man, exactly what you don't need. You got him pinned deep, and maybe you can come up with a defensive stop here. You're only down two, but they... Rockets get a long, sustained drive here. They can put the nail in the coffin. We get Tice up top. We have Conroy here. This one goes to Fla Fleming. Fleming on his, oh, sorry, that's Thornton. <laughs> Thornton's got a huge move left and right. Gets pulled out after about a 25-yard gain. Once again, he confused me because his shirt was untucked, Brian. Yeah. He untucked his shirt, and now then I'm never going to be able to tell the difference between Trevor and, uh, and uh, Lucas. But Trevor Thornton does a little stutter left and right and rips off a huge gain. He has been chewing up the yardage all day today. Quick break from the huddle. I like it. Winchester not quite ready. They had too many guys on. And they do they have to call they they had they have to call their third timeout. They have to be done with them. They had too many guys on the field. So Winchester calls a timeout, if I'm correct. That's the third one they took in the half here. And the Rockets have first and ten from the Winchester 30. And they'd love to put one more score in here and take this one. Oki and Larry Lorenzo chest bumping down there, firing each other up. A little bit of move there. Oh, and this one goes to Lucas Fleming. And Lucas gets pulled down after a gain of about five. And once again, it looked like we saw a couple of people moving there. It's actually Oki uh, chest pumping with Lynchy in there. Number 65, Lynchy in there on the offensive line. You don't need to you don't need to fire up Lynchy. No. You know what I mean? He he comes every single day fired up. He wakes up fired up. He does. He goes to school fired up. This one's a keeper for Damari. He, sees, he waits, he's patient, and he takes it for a first down. Got to be a first down. So Damari once again waits half a second, sees the hole, takes it right up the middle, and the Rockets are going to be inside the red zone, first and 10. Impressive drive here, helped by another 15 yards. Number 33. His third personal foul. I think the coach saw enough of him and pulled him out. This one's going to be a pass underneath, and that's the one to DiNapoli. He's still on his feet. Nice job by Adam. Gets pushed out just inside the 10, so breaks the first tackle. I like that play, Brian. Very quick out, you know, and let an athlete make a play. Almost no time to set up. The second time we've seen that today, that one was actually executed better than the first one. Even though Denapoli caught the first one, he breaks a tackle and gets inside the uh, 10. Well, they put him out right at the 10. Once again, I'd like to see where that spot was. I think he was inside the 10, closer to the 7. This one is Thornton right up the gut, drives it to about the one-yard line. So call it second and goal. They call that first and goal from the 10. And it's going to be second and goal. I'm, I'm making a prediction right here, Brian. All right. What do you got? Number 34. Same exact play. Trevor Thornton up the gut. No, this one's Damari up the gut. And he takes it himself. Just bowls over number nine. Number nine is one of the best athletes. And Danny just said, hey, nice to meet you. And ran him over. He was already in the end zone. Decided to run him over anyway. So that one goes to Damari. That's the first time I've ever, ever made a prediction that was wrong, Brian. Well, yeah. it happens. Actually, it happens. you know what? It happened one time many, many years ago when I thought I made a mistake, but I didn't. <laughs> right? There so here go. we are. Huge play for the Rockets. They march down and get six. And now they're trying to tack on two more here. This one goes to Fleming up the gut, just drives it, but he gets pulled down short. So the Rockets put on six to go to 22 to 14. But that's still within a touchdown. That extra point was huge right there. Trailing by eight, Winchester still has a chance here to get in this game. 
So great defensive stop after a long drive inside the red zone. Rockets get the ball back, and they march about 90 yards for the touchdown. Damari goes in, but they can't convert. The, you know, if they convert that one, Brian, it's two scores, right? Yep. They can't convert with Fleming up the middle, and that was a huge play by Winchester because now they're still within eight here, still within striking distance to tie it. We've got to be getting late here in the game, though, so. And they're out of timeouts, Brian. They have to be. They're out of timeouts, which is going to kill Winchester. Certainly not help them, right? Well, that ball's live right there. Right. Oh, wow. Nice move by their quarterback. Ball's live. He gets pushed back. He takes it about 25 yards back. Jonathan Grady was in there, had his hands on him. Could have ripped him down around the 25-yard line. He evades Grady. And, and I like that guy's running style, right? North-south. He runs right up the gut. And they're going to have excellent field position here late in the fourth quarter here. So the Rocket D is going to be asked to do something again here, but you might see them taking some chances. Yep. Put the ball in the air here. Let's see if we can get a time uh, check too. Kyle Flanagan gets, Flanagan gets sent in there. The linebacker, I think he's in for Conroy, who was dinged up. It's a swing pass here. That's the pass they tried last time. Oh, he's got a seam right there. He evades Deemer, and he gets pulled down from behind right there by number five, Perez, but he gets a first down. That was the play I think they tried uh, on the third down play for the touchdown. That one turns into 15 yards. Flaney gets dinged up a little bit on the play, shaken up, but he's on his feet quickly. But it's going to be a first down here in Rocket territory. There's Con a penalty on Winchester. There is a penalty. I think they're going to walk it off here. After the play, let's see how far they walk it off, and we'll figure it out. If it's at the end of the play, he could be coming back 15. That's another personal foul on Winchester. That is a killer. So now it's they, they get a replay first down. It's going to be first and 12. So they, they rip off a first down with fifth, about... 13 yards, and they put 15 back on it. So the personal fouls for Winchester are killing them. Coach has got to be pulling his hair out over there because this is, this is a game that they, a couple of decent plays here, can be right back in it, and they're not helping themselves. This one's a swing pass out. Number 10, oh, there's Oki right there closing, and then, oh, he gets ripped down from behind. Damari is over there. And I think, uh, let's see who else is there. Di Crescenzo, as usual. So good pursuit from the left side of that line and really no gain. Done a much better job on that swing pass uh, in the second half than the first. Yep. Second down and 10 here from their own 40. Look for him to put the ball in the air. They don't have any timeouts. They need to stop the clock. Of the year. He pump fakes. Oh! And right in there. Big, is that Big Larry? Who's in there? Larry Lorenza, number 69, comes up with a huge sack. Big pressure up the middle. Right-hand side was Lorenza and, uh, and Kajander over there. And Larry tears him down. Larry is an absolute character, one of my favorites of that oh, team. He, is. he gets everybody in this team fired up. Funny, funny guy, and he's always got a smile on his face. Huge play by Larry there. Third down, pushes it back for five to six yards. They call him Lukey now. Instead of Lucas, we, him and, uh, we said it before, him and Lucas Fleming, they're both Lucas is actually is his name. We got him so confused, they changed him to Larry. Big push right there. Oh, man, Oki goes up and just misses it. Oh, he's still on his feet, so huge play there. Danny Oki, good pressure, gets up, almost tips the thing, gets it over Oki, and he rips it off for a first down. So huge play right there. Good pursuit there, and... Oki would have liked to have that one back. I almost threw it right through his hands on that one. 
Credit the runner, though. I think that's our boy 33 on defense. He, he ripped that one off. It's a first down at midfield here. we got to get a time check here. Got to be getting late here. So they're going to they're gonna be putting in the air again. Oh, boy. They run, it's a free play right here. Going to tear him down. So they were going to get five yards anyway, and they get five on the play. I would take the penalty and go first and five, right? So... Larry was so excited with the sack, he jumped a little bit on that last one. And they're going to go first and five here from the Rocket 45. This is clearly where you don't mind the bend, don't break here. But we've got to be running low here on time. Let's see if we can get a check. Rocket's up by eight. Oh, it looks like some movement early there. Yeah, they're going to let it go. Oh, right there, Larry again. Oh, he was mad at himself. For jumping, and this one, he goes, I'm going to give you five, and I'm going to take back ten. Lukey Larry Lorenza, number 69, has come up huge on this series, and he's pushed him back big time. So that's exactly the type of defensive push we like to see. And I'll tell you, a lot of that happens because these other guys, in particular Di Crescenzo, they can't stop them. They're putting two guys on them. So that line has finally got the push they need. They're just a little bit too tough right here. Second down, midfield. Oh, we got some movement there. It's a swing pass. It's going to try it again. That's a forward pass and another forward pass, by the way. That's clearly a forward pass this way. They throw it again. It's incomplete. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah, that was definitely. That was clearly a forward pass. They throw another forward pass, and we should have our hands in the air saying that's uh, unfortunately against the rules. The refs uh, I why didn't call don't it. seem to notice, right? Yeah. I've been paying attention to that one since I thought the other one was a forward <laughs> right. pass. I'd love to see that on tape because that one, the one that went for big yard is that Perez saved a touchdown on. It's going to be third and 12 here. He's back to pass. Big push. He swings it out again. Lynch is in pursuit right there. He, they drive for the close to the first down, but they tackle him in bounds. That's a big play right there. So Lynch is over there in Perez, and the, the tackle in bounds, the clock's got to be running here. We've got to get a time check here, Brian, but it's a first down here inside the 40. You know, they've made some very, very big plays and then they've hurt themselves terribly with some penalties. One step forward, two steps back so far, but they are a good team here. Throws it underneath. Oh! Oh, it's intercepted! Did he call it? It gets tipped in the air. Thrown a little bit behind the receiver, and Perez comes in and intercepts it. Wow, that is a huge play. So great athletic play right there by Nicky Perez. Number five, diving for the ball, and the Rockets turn it over. We talked about, we, can we get a turnover, Brian? And we get it at the best part of the game here. The ball was a little bit wobbly behind him, tipped in the air, and Perez dives for it and makes the play. Huge play. Larry Lorenz is coming over. They should be high-fiving him. He's going to get a breather here on the O-line. We might be close here, Brian, to just kneeling on the ball. It's got to be late. And they can't stop the clock. I don't think they said two-minute warning yet. So the two big backs gotta flanking Damari. be close Damari. to two-minute warning, though. This one's a handoff to Fleming. What a hole. My gosh, and he's, he's following Lynchy. Lynchy. No one touched Lynchy for 12 yards, and he <laughs> just followed him. Why not? Lynchy was upset he didn't have anyone to anyone to block. So they rip off the first down, first play out to the 40-yard line. Absolutely content. Let's keep the ground and pound going, right? They can't yep. stop the clock here. And I'd like to get a time check. Might be close to two minutes. I see the ref looking at his own watch. 
Rockets just need to hold on to the ball here. Nice cut back here. He's still on his feet. Oh, he drops the ball. The ball's down. I think it's pounced on by Redding. Wow, this time Thornton drops it, but number 60 is Sean Beckenhuis, and he, he, he pounces on it. So the Rockets, I just say it, Brian, the only thing you need to do is hold on to the ball. Thornton fumbles at the end, and Beckenhuis is right there to save it. Huge play by Sean Beckenhuis in the offensive line. And this is what they should be telling these guys. If you get stacked up, just go down, especially at this point. Cannot turn the ball over. This one's a keeper for Damari. Look at this. He just waits up the middle. Oh, nice tackle right there by 43. There's one guy left. Damari just waits. The hole opens up for him. He takes it for the first down easily. And if 43 doesn't make that play, he is off to the races, cut and left. I think he just hit two minutes. We'll double check that time, Brian. They, they didn't think they might have said two minutes. I don't think Winchester can uh, can stop this clock. And that's it. They, uh, they can't stop it, and they're going to kneel. And they are going to win this game. I'll tell you, when they needed to come up with it, the Rockets did come up. And uh, they're going to walk away with a victory. I think they're double checking the time. If they did have enough, and that's going to be it. They run the clock out, and Redding is going to go to 7-0. and 22 to 14 today, and this is a very, very tough game here, Brian. Those guys were a good team. <coughs> Winchester did not help themselves with the penalties, and the Rockets at the very end get a huge athletic play from Perez to get the ball back and seal this game. So once again, offensively, the names we've been calling all year, Thornton, Fleming, Damari, carry the guys offensively, and big defensive plays. I like really liked Adam Deemer in that middle line, uh, drive. He looked like Danny Damari in there when Damari was middle linebacker. And the Rockets are going to go away here. Hey, next week it's going to be Melrose, Brian. We're away at Melrose. We're back at Win at uh, Wakefield to wrap up the season. The Rockets are 7-0. and And we're looking to continue marching on. So tomorrow is they actually the varsity plays in Winchester in the morning. We'll have a rare Saturday game. And I think that game is to get Redding into the playoffs. Yep. Redding needs that one. So, and that's going to be interesting, too, because I believe that they're actually playing Danny's older brother, Johnny DeMaria, quarterback. Nice. Put him in, uh, in quarterback during the week. And here, oh, here comes our uh, chain crew here. Get a load of these guys, Brian. Yeah, here they are. There they are. The absolute. This is the crew that did it. Yeah, th I think they sealed the victory. I said, can you imagine DeMaria over there? He spent two hours over there. Uh, Pete Tarasik is in such great shape right now, and DeMaria's trying to uh, corrupt him, saying, I, I, where's my steak and cheese? Let's go get some meatballs. Let's do, remember, remember what he what did he call the, the the freshest bread, the freshest bread? Love pillows. He called them love pillows. Yeah, yeah, love pillows. The freshest bread he gets for his subs. So great job by the Reading Chain crew right there. And the Rockets are gonna go touch the uh, field goal posts like they do before and after every single game. And we will see you next week, buddy.